Well, let's welcome to the show Denver 7 Broncos insider Troy Rankin. Troy, here we are at the end of a wild and crazy three-week coaching search with the candidate with the most experience. Like we said, we wanted in the first place, right? Uh, there's no more like, oh, well, gosh, I didn't know I had to do that. Or, oh, well, I'm learning on the job every day. Like the last three coaches, Sean Payton knows what it takes to be a successful head coach in the NFL. Well, listen, here's the deal. This is the first coach since Gary Kubiak that isn't a first-time head coach. We don't have to ask the silly questions of, do you know where you're going to stand at practice? Do you know where you're going to stand when the team has the ball on offense? Do you need to take training wheels to the game so you can get your car there and get to the locker room? All that's off. This is a guy who's won. It would be the equivalent, maybe not complete apples to apples, but Mike Shanahan, if you were hiring him, like when Shanahan went to Washington. That's the key here. A guy who's done it, he's won, he's won at the highest level. I believe this is what, exactly what this franchise needs right now. You're going to be in the booth or on the field, Sean? What, I mean, what are you going to do? Do you need a coach to help you coach? No. Just needs a visor. That's over, right? Just a just new visor. visor. Which he's got already. Okay, we so. saw that. Yeah. Um, all right, the official Peyton press conference on Monday. What specific questions, Troy, do you want to ask the new head coach? Well, when you look at this roster, he's had a week on the job. What do you want to be your offensive identity? And it's a little bit of an unfair question because you don't know what the team's going to look like come training camp. But who do you want to be offensively? Because that is the key, Lionel. Even as they trailed down the stretch and it kind of basically fizzled, defensively they were a playoff caliber team. But I want to know, what is it going to look like on offense? What do you want that identity to be? And how soon can you change a culture? Because that is something that has to change around here Lionel it's just the standards got to change this team's going to get back to the playoffs well you've talked to so many people the last week since we found out it's Peyton Troy on um, people who coached with him people who played for him people who know him what is the one thing that stands out that you think will make him a success here in Denver he makes people uncomfortable. There is a fear factor with Sean Payton. When I talk to people in the NFL about him, they bring up Bill Parcells. That's the guy he learned under. And Bill Parcells had no problem getting into players' faces, making them aware that they could be cut. That fear factor, I know people see it now. And go, That's not how coaching's done. But the way we went last year with the bro hug, we went so far that end of the spectrum. There is a point here. There has to be accountability. So when I think about Sean Payton, I think of the fact he's going to have a fear factor make guys uncomfortable and set a new standard with consequences that was my biggest problem last year there was no consequences when you perform poorly when you did dumb stuff there has to be consequences with Sean Payton there will be um, well Payton uh, if you look at his past he claimed Drew Brees at the <laughs> pawn shop right he took him off the scrap heap nobody else wanted him after a serious shoulder injury um, nobody knew if Brees could ever play right. or be good again and now not the same situation, but Peyton inherits Russell Wilson. Yeah, there is this revisionist history that Sean Payton's career was because of Drew Brees. Was Drew Brees a Hall of Famer? Did I miss something when he left the Chargers? He had a torn labrum. He and those two, they grew together into one of the best coach quarterback combinations ever in the NFL. So what do I want to see? You see, you know when you put your iPhone in rice after it drops into either the toilet or somewhere? That's <laughs> what he's got to do. Put it in rice, bring the iPhone out, recharge it. Can he do that with Russell Wilson? I was talking to someone today about this at length. He believes Russell Wilson will listen to Sean Payton. That wasn't the case last year with Nathaniel Hackett. We saw that with three wide and shotgun and silly stuff. Russell Wilson will listen to him. Can Russell Wilson, as he turns 35 next season, find that skill set and rebound? Sean Payton's going to give him the best chance.